But don't you love that picture? <laughs> Engaging kids. One of the things we know, this is a Gallup poll from the US, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's fairly consistent in other areas. The longer kids stay in school, the less engaged they are unless they want to be there. That between grade three where they found in the US 76% of students were actively engaged in learning and wanted to be in school, by grade 10 we were down to 44%. The longer kids are in school, how do we shift that? We're offering a view on educational engagement that looks like this. That if we want to look at how engaged kids are in school, we're going to suggest, and I'm going to jump by this study just for, for lack of time. This is a study, by the way, by David Chernoff, who worked with uh, Chicks and Mihai, who wrote the book Flow, and it looked at how engaged kids were and found they were more engaged in arts and tech than there were other classes, more engaged in science than math, more engaged in math than history or social science. And as you work through that, you see it depends on whether they were actively engaged or passive, whether it was relevant, they could see relevance to them or not, and did it require concentration? Did they have to think deeply about it? And, okay. But we're offering this taxonomy of engagement. Below my taxonomy, below that, would be Ferris Bueller's day off. Right? Like down there is, if I'm sleeping in class, you can't have an impact. If I don't come to class, you're not having impact. If I won't take your class, you don't have an impact. But we would argue once we are into what, by the way, engage, you know, from the French to commit to, once we're in this taxonomy, we would argue there are low or high levels. Being merely compliant, we would argue is a low level of engagement. I need to keep my marks up, I want to keep my parents happy, I want to stay on the teacher's good side. I find the work boring and meaningless, but I'm willing to do it. Our argument is, as we move up, each level above subsumes the level below. So for example, if I can teach a lesson in a way that's interesting, it's more likely students will be willing to complete my task. Does that make sense? If I, if I teach it in an interesting way, I have a better chance that kids will, will do the task. If you see value in the task, you are more likely to find it interesting, and they're more likely willing to do. If I can challenge you to think, you often see value, and I want, ultimately want to have a transformative impact. By the way, I want you to note, I can teach all of my lessons with a critical thinking challenge, but if I lose sight of things kids love to, I know the films my kids like, the activities. We don't want to lose sight of that. We simply want to say, how do I use it in a more powerful way? You, teachers know kids love it when we do this. They w like watching this film. My challenge to teachers, so how do you tweak that field trip to push the thinking a little deeper? How do you use that film in a more thought-provoking way? How do you make those activities that are already interesting to kids, engage them in thinking. So we want to focus on those, on those top two. I, I will just, this is just looking at what does that look like in a science fair from willing to complete the task to being transformed by engaging with the task. Or writing a history essay from I did it because it was required to the way we did this had a huge impact on me. I want to just take a minute to show you, and many of you may have seen, seen this video uh, from Grassy Narrows uh, that uh, was posted about a month ago. And I just want you to think through the lens of engagement. Now, I don't think we have time to show all of it, but I do want you to see maybe the first half. But think through the lens of engagement as you watch this. Limits. 
I wanna see change So my soul lives in They cut down the trees While we blow kisses Defend our home while they dismiss us Stop it there, but a mobile music lab was sent into Grassy Narrows Reserve, and the students produce that. Where would they be on my taxonomy? Yeah, I, I would guess they're transformed. And think of the cross-curricular opportunities, the, the history that was in that video, the, the environmental issues, the I, the music, the language. It's so much tied up in that. I just watched that video and I thought that's. That's powerful, right? And, and those kids involved in that are learning at a level that's up here. So when you get a chance, it's, it's really worth watching the, the entire video. But getting them up to that, that top level where they're engaged in critical, creative, and collaborative thinking, 